Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Scorched Earth. I'm Flinger Foo, and well, today we're going to be working on a few things. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, first off, we have to uh, go get a whole bunch of sand. Um, so we're going to run over here, we're going to grab Stony, and we're going to grab a whole bunch of sand because um, we have to get some of that wall going, at least most of it. Um, let's just park you over here, buddy. Alright, give me sand. Alright, and he'll just do this all day if I let him. It's kind of funny. All right, so I'll take that, and I'll take that, and then, thanks, buddy, and then I'll take that, too. And let's ditch that, and let's give you some more weight. Yeah, buddy, do your little rollover thing. All right, let's... You just stay there, Super Dodo. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're going to run back over here. I'm going to get the stuff loaded up. We've got a bunch of sand to go um, to make, but while the sand is making, while it's crafting... Oh, I have a bunch of clay already in there. Um, we have to, uh, we're going to go out and we're going to test, uh, how much, how well they change the, uh, loot drops and stuff. Also, we're going to go take a look at a few different base locations because, like I was saying in the previous episode, I'm not that dedicated to, uh, staying in this spot. Um, so, I want to see what we can do. Alright, that's not nearly going to be enough. Alright, um, so I'm gonna need to go grab a bit more stuff, stick that in there. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, get on him, let's take this, uh, let's throw away most of this stuff, let's get rid of all that garbage. Uh, take this, stack that up, and then just drop all items. Alright, all right, take that, put that back in, take that, put that over, and then, you know, I'm gonna keep that cooked meat jerky because you're gonna eat it if I don't. All right, so, you ready, Super Dodo? All right, let's head out. Let's go see how good these things are. And I'm avoiding that area over there because that's where the Lightning Wyvern is. So we're going to stick our way over here. And then we have to level up Super Dodo a little bit as we're out and about because Super Dodo, he's doing, or she's doing really well. But... Kill these guys. I mean, Super Dodo's doing really well. But her speed needs to be increased uh, quite a bit because we're going for 200%. That's the goal. This guy's got a lot of hit points. What level are you? Well, it doesn't really matter because I can't tame you because I don't have any stuff. Oh, the ankle kills you. Dude, you killed my mantis, man. All right. Oh, and then this guy right over here. All right, let's get you dead, because I don't want you wandering into the base. All right, and then there's a drop coming down over there. I'm going to go take a look. All right, and then, yeah. Are you just a white drop, or are you a blue drop? Or it's so hard to tell against the uh, um, the yellow ground and the blue um, sky what color these drops are. I think you're a white one. All right, let's see. Uh, they said they they greatly improved them. I'm not sure "greatly" is the word they used, but they said they improved them. So we're gonna try on this one first. Is that greatly improved, guys? Eh. For a white drop, that probably is. Alright. So yeah, let's uh, leave that there and let's... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna destroy that so where another one spawns. I'll just drop all this garbage out on the ground. Alright. Alright. Now you're gone and let's get a new one in your place, okay? Alright, buddy? Alright, so let's get over here. There's another one coming down there in the distance. And I hopefully they didn't change where they drop. Um, like the red drops don't, or I hope they still come down over in the area that we built. Cause that's why we built. That's why I built there. You know, is uh, because um, the red drops, the purple drops, the yellow drops and stuff. Um, they kept coming down there regularly, and you know I figured that would give us a really big leg up, even though you know it was like in the same spot that I've already built. But maybe eventually we might move our way over here. Because there's also a lot of red and uh, yellow drops that come over here. And this is a really cool spot that I haven't shown in uh, too many of my episodes. I think one episode 
We went out um, searching out locations. But yeah. Alright, you're a yellow drop. I will definitely take you. Let's see what's in you, buddy. Nothing gonna eat me? Alright, if you're gonna eat me, you guys just stay over there. Stay on your side of the, uh, the rock. Okay? Yeah, chainsaw. Fishing rod. Flamethrower ammo. Hey, wind turbine! Hey, alright! And let's just drop that one. Alright, hey, alright, so that was improved. Oh, we got a, uh, we got a chainsaw. It's not the best chainsaw, but it's a decent chainsaw. And a fishing rod. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, let's just throw that stuff onto... Actually, let's just ditch some of this stuff from you. Then let's uh, throw that, 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 and that on you. And then level up your movement speed again. 145. All right, we're moving up in the world. We're doing all right. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm going to be out here looking around. And the next uh, one, I'll bring you guys back. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, purple drop here, and there's saber tooths and boas around here, so... And T-Rexes. And that thing just died. All right, well, hey, I brought you guys back for that. Hey, now you can see just how those things... You see that thing crumble? See, you know, that's... And that's how that works. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, I wasn't in time. All right, there's another one over here on the other side. We're going to go see if we can grab that one really quick. It's on the other side of the base. And I've just been flying around, um... Doing a, a group of rounds basically it's going this way over that way and then over that way and so far uh, Yeah, that's the second one that's died right as I got there Yeah, so it's to be expected all right All right green one with terror birds right over there No, I don't want that That's just wood stuff all right, and then there's a blue one coming down right here that I'm gonna wait for uh, but green for all wood. I mean, they all they dropped all wood foundations and stuff before, so, huh? Oh, hey, there's an Archaeopteryx. Hey, buddy, you're a little away from your trees, don't you think? Yeah, your Joshua trees. Yeah, they're over there, buddy. Have fun with that. Yeah. All right. Oh, Pego Mastax. No way, dude. No way. Later, man. Oh yeah, you're toast. You're gonna be food for the vultures here in a sec. Whenever you die, because you have a ton of hit points, because whoever decided the Pego Map level 140 Pego Mastax needed a thousand hit points. Yeah. Hey, thanks for that, guys. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back uh, here in just a little bit. All right, just clear the area. It should be clear, at least for the next two seconds. All right, let's see. Hey, a tent. I didn't have a tent. Dude, get off me. All right, so let's get over here. I gotta turn you on passive. Stay off me, vultures. All right. All right, so yeah, we're gonna move over here. Uh, is that green one with the wood one's still over there, so. And I haven't seen any other wyverns, thankfully. Um, need a little bit of food. And yeah, we're gonna be heading out a little bit more. Um, what is that one up there? I actually think it's white. See, some of these ones, they're really weird. Um, the ones they put there. Um, it's like you have some white ones coming down in weird spots, and you have red ones coming down right in the open, right out in the open, and yeah. All right, so hey, I'm gonna get um, heading around here a little bit more. We're gonna find a little, few more, and then also I'm gonna go take a look at the waterfall area. See how viable that one is. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, purple drop. Eh, I'll take all that. All right. Uh, simple bullet, metal frame foundation, all engrams. Nothing too great. All right, and there's a blue drop coming down right over here that I was 
Where is that? Yeah, it's a blue drop. Uh, it's coming down over there. I'm gonna go see what that one is. Uh, it's still in the process of coming down. There's another one over there. Uh, blue drops, uh... Are you, are you blue? Yeah, you're blue. Uh, blue drops are okay. Uh, let me fly up a little bit high. It's easier to see the colors of these from higher up. Hmm. Alright, well I'm gonna get over there, find out what that color one is, and I'll bring you guys back. Alright, and here's the waterfall, waterfall area, I said. Yeah, <laughs> getting a little tongue-tied here. Um, so, yeah, here's... Wait, are you inside the rock, or are you still coming down? No, you're already down, but you're not down. You're inside the rock, dude. I don't know if anybody told you this, but, man, you're inside the rock. Alright, but, yeah, um, here's the waterfall area, and this actually looks like a pretty cool area. Um, I was thinking about maybe coming over and building an area right here because I liked it. I like it a lot um, We could build like right up here with an area and then have it span like this and have the waterfall come back down behind us That sounds kind of cool I mean that does sound really cool um, We just couldn't rely on any refrigerators for the most part But then again in scorched earth you really don't rely too much on refrigerators and I'm thinking about that quite a bit. Um, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Purple coming down right there. Uh, it's my luck, though. But there's a yellow coming down over here. So, yeah, we're, I'm going to head over here and then see if I can grab this sucker. I saw it on my way in. Hopefully, this is the right one. Yes, you are. All right. So, we're going to get you. And... All right. Hey, Mr. Yellow. How you doing, buddy? All right, let's see what wonders you hold. Not bad. Uh, oil pump. Blueprint blue whip. Uh, blue chainsaw. I think our green chainsaw is actually better than that one. No, just a little bit. Uh, fence foundation, ceiling. I already have those. So let's get rid of those. All right. Um, that one wasn't bad. Let's see. Um, the whip is 135 damage... 69.5 durability. What is the standard whip's durability? It's probably 40, huh? Yeah, 40. So, hey, that's higher durability. And when it comes to whips, the damage really isn't the important part. It's the durability is the important part. Um, the chainsaw... It's not bad. Um, we got Mantis Saddle. We're a ways off from getting Mantises. Uh, Mantis, you can do it before you get a Wyvern, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, because you need a wyvern to kill the death worms. Because it's a big, huge uh, path that you have to take in order to uh, tame all the stuff on Scorched Earth. And it's kind of it kind of goes in order that uh, you need. Um, let's see. The order is you have to tame an argent to grab a wyvern egg. You have to tame an Argent to knock out a Wyvern with a Wyvern Trap. And lure the Wyvern into the trap. So with an Argent, you get the Wyvern. With the Wyvern, you can go out and you kill the Death Worms. With the Death Worm Horns that you get from killing the Death Worms, you can tame a Mantis. So you basically, it's a big huge cycle that... Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, what other drops? Ooh! Hey, this is a... Oh, I'm not high enough level for that sucker, am I? That's a red one, huh? I'm only 68. Oh, man. Ah. Uh, all right. See, this is... This is my problem. This is my woes. Ah. Two more levels. <laughs> all right, so let's skip that one. That one's going to be a good one, too, huh? Yeah, he's got the ring around it and everything. The ring around the rosy. All right, so... Oh, hey... That's a purple one. We're gonna go find this one, all right? Oh, now this is torture. Two red ones coming down, right? There's a red one, over there's a red one. Both of them red, coming down. And I can't do a single thing. Ah, I just need to level up more. I need to tame me a thorny dragon. That's what I need. A sandy beaver? Oh yeah, those things are awesome. It would really help out with uh, building stuff too. I think if we uh, move over to a new location, we're definitely going to tame one of those suckers before we do. Yeah. And then that should give us 
some more focus to get a little bit more XP and stuff like that. And then also there's a ton of water here. What's the wind like here? 65? What about over there at the uh, waterfall? Let's head back over to the waterfall. You are red, right? Or are you purple? Oh, if you're purple, you'll be awesome. Dude, we'll be like best friends and stuff. Just purple awesomeness. No, you're red, huh? Yeah, you're red. You're too good for me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, um, we're gonna head over, check out the waterfall. I wanna see the wind level there. And also, there's another really cool spot. Here, we'll head over there here in just a minute. Um, take a look. But yeah, I wanna take a look at the wind level over at the waterfall. All right, so back at the waterfall, and the wind level is 65%. It's not that bad. All right, let's see about up high. 65, what about up here? 65, and there's a lightning wyvern. Right over by where I was gonna go with you guys. All right, well, let's go see if we can uh, evade this little turd. Oh, he's going fast too. What level are you? Oh, he's gone. All right, so yeah, let's go this way. Um, there's a couple really cool spots up here on the edge of the desert. And th that's basically what you're looking for in the best locations for uh, bases in, our, in Scorched Earth is you want them to have a high wind, you want them to have a standing water source. All right, um, the wells are okay, but they're not the best. And, and then you also want to have... Uh, access to uh, resources and stuff like that. All right, there you are again. Oh, oh no, you just left again. All right, so we're gonna avoid you. Over here at this um, area over here, this obelisk, this is the blue one, right? Yeah, the blue one. Um, it kind of has all three. Um, the green has the same thing going for it, and that's where I ended up finally I'm settling in my first Scorched Earth series, and it worked out okay, but it was just way, way, way too hot in that area. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna go over here, and also there's a cave right up there. And this is actually one of the easier caves right here. So, yeah. All right, here are the blue obelisk, and the, um. It's only 40% um, wind. That's not good. All right, but see right down here, there's just a ton of resources, a ton of uh, foliage, a ton of trees, ton of bad guys. But um, right up here, um, if you could pipe all the water or some water up here to like this spot right here, I mean, this is unknown region. There's no wind here. <laughs> all right, um, at least it says there's no wind. Unknown region. All right, let's see. I'm not getting any wind reading here. No wind reading. All right, what about right here? All right, right here, there's 100%. See, because we're in the dunes, all right? Um, and that's a big, huge plus, is that you're right next to the dunes. And then there's water right down here, but I don't know, that seems like a long ways to uh, pipe the water. I'm not sure how far the water will go. I know it'll go a long ways. All right, um, and the electricity will go 28, I think. I think that's the right number, 28 lines. So um, straight uh, intersections, everything, it'll go 28 different sections. So when uh, setting up generators and stuff like that, that's what you want. But then again, you, we might not even need generators other than for a chemistry bench. Yeah. All right, so let's get back to base. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can pick up a few more of those things, dodge a couple lightning wyverns. Um, and yeah, we have some walls left to finish. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, yellow drop up here, stuck in the ground. Am I gonna be able to grab this? Can I grab, why can't I grab you? No, <laughs> they're teasing me. 
No, no, not cool. F gonna work? No? Ah, give me back my foo. That was not cool, Ark. Not cool. Hey, look, a nice gold drop here, yellow drop. And you can't have it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, all right. So, yeah. All right. And, um, I think that we're going to, uh, I'm going to go take a look at this wall situation over here. But I think before we get started on that, I'm going to go out and I'm going to see how many Trank arrows do we have? We have 40. We have 48 of them. So, you know what? I think we have enough to go out and tame a Sandy Beaver. If we can find a decent level Sandy Beaver that's somewhat close. Let's see. Then we can... Oh, there's that dude. No, stay away, man. Oh, I didn't mean to. No, no, no. Go back into stasis, buddy. No, fly off. No, uh, the wrong direction, dude. See, uh, that was my bad. I knew not to go over there. All right, let's go see if we can find us a sandy beaver up here. All right, and I say sandy beaver because thorny dragons, they, they have the same properties as uh, beavers in regular arc. They uh, reduce the weight of... Uh, wood that goes on them and they harvest a lot more wood now i wanted to take a look at this thing down here does it have a meter on it it does a thousand all right so they hold a thousand so if i drink water how fast does it fill feels pretty fast all right so yeah just have to be very careful when i use that only use you know 10 uses at a time all right, well, let's go see if we can find a sandy beaver over here. All right, so, hey, look at this. Um, they, don't, they don't have to be super high level. This guy's 90. That'll work. All right, so let's see. Uh, can I get up here? Go around like this. Hop off without falling to my death. Uh, eight. Miss. There we go. Alright, come on, buddy. And these guys don't have much torpor at all. I'll take the torpor. But they do have a torpor attack. But the torpor attack they have doesn't do that much. See, I mean, my torpor is barely going up. Now I'm just going to lay into this guy and get a whole bunch of uh, torpor going on him. Alright, so let's see how well this works. Right, he's already running. Alright, we're going to go chase that guy. Come on, buddy. All right, let's go get this guy. All right, he's over there. There you go. Oh, he's out. Okay. And we're going to kill this guy. And there's a whole ton of Paraceratheriums around here. So we can kill those guys really quick, get some prime meat. And the base is just right over there, so we can also grab some more salt if we need to. But I am just going to let this guy starve out for the most part. All right, so I'm going to get that done, and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so I guess even the canteen is evaporating yeah look at this yeah see and that that's the biggest problem with scorched earth is your water slowly evaporates over time 
Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and this guy, he's, uh, I keep, I put the prime meat a little too early on him, so now he's, now I have to keep running back and forth every few minutes. And, but yeah, that's just an update, and I have to go find some more prime. Are there any boas out here or anything? And yeah, I'll bring you guys back when this guy's ready to get up. Hey, Mr. Pariser, how you doing, buddy? All right, and he's up. Um, yeah, I was out getting prime meat when uh, he got up. Uh, yeah, so hey, I have some prime meat. <laughs> hey, all right. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. All right, so uh, let's see. 1508 hit points, not very good. Uh, 366 weight, we're going to be working on that one a lot. 259 melee damage, it's pretty good. All right, so let's get that guy. Let's see. Let's get you following, and hopefully we can get your butt back to base without having to deal with too much stuff. Let's get you in here. Now, I've been working on Super Dodo speed, and he's already up to 167.5. That's pretty good. It's not where we want him yet, but it, he's coming along quite nicely. All right. Let's get you back to base. Let's see what we need for a saddle. Let's see. Um, Thorny Dragon. Not Throny Dragon. Thorny Dragon Saddle. Made in a smithy. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's come on in here. Uh, saddles. Thorny Dragon. We need clay and hide. We've got both of those. All right. And yeah, we didn't get to the wall today, to the wall outside, but you know what? We're going to. That is a big priority. Um, just to keep out the baddies while we're in this, while we're in this area. And like I was saying, I'm not dedicated to staying here. So, um, I'm just doing this so where, um, if we can come out ahead, we'll be out ahead. And also, it's kind of close to, uh, the Wyvern Ravine while not being too close. So, yeah. Alright, so let's got a Thorny Dragon Saddle. We're already almost ready to ding, which is good. All right, so stick that sucker on you, and then see, yeah, they uh, have the exact same uh, properties as a beaver saddle. It's a smithy on their back, which is really cool. I'll take that back. Thanks, buddy. Let's give you some health so you don't die, and then now we're just going to go some weight. All right. All right. So, hey, uh, what did we do? Well, we went out. We got a whole bunch of uh, oh uh, loot drops. Didn't get that too much cool stuff, but they did obviously improve them. Um how greatly they improved them? Well, that's still yet to be decided. I have to be able to open up some red drops. But we also went out and we got ourselves a Sandy Beaver, which I haven't named. I'm going to, yeah, you're going to be Sandy Beaver. Because I like that name, because that is exactly what you are. All right. Sandy Beaver. There you go, buddy. Good luck with that. All right, so yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. So hey, if you liked the episode, click that like button. I really appreciate that. And I will see you guys either in Scorched Earth on the island or uh, in Conan. So hey, um, and like I was saying earlier, those episodes, I'm going to try to do at least, I'm hoping to do at least eight episodes a week. That's a lot for me. Seven episodes is a lot for me. Um, five episodes, definitely doable. Which shows we do, that's up in the air. Um, but yeah, um, just so you know, they're going to be, you know, kind of mismatched a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to try to get eight episodes a week. So hey, um, I will see you guys next time. And until then, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everyone. All right. Base is coming together. Got the stuff.